question. I'll wait. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question, uh, Representative Weaver, this will be for you first. South Carolina has the highest state income tax in the South and regularly experiences budget surpluses, including the $1.8 billion unaccounted for dollars that were recently discovered. Many conservative states like Tennessee and Florida have no income tax. With this in mind, do you believe it's time for the state income tax to be lowered or even abolished? I do, and I think the $1.8 billion needs to be sent back to the citizens. We shouldn't be spending that. <laughs> I'm like my opponent who wants to spend it and find out how to spend your tax money. I think it needs to go back to you. And I do think we should abolish the income tax uh, with the Florida and the Tennessee model. We can do consumer tax, et cetera, et cetera. But we tax our people way too much, and it needs to stop. Taxation at some point gets just out of hand, and you don't get the response for it. She voted to raise your gas tax. Is that, how's that worked out? You have nothing to show for that in the low country. Your traffic is bad. Your, after eight years, your infrastructure is bad. But she raised your taxes, and you're supposedly paying for something that's supposed to get better. I am a Republican. I'm an actual Republican. I've never met a tax cut that I don't like. Senator, do you like me to repeat the question? No. Everything that comes out of his mouth, you must fact check. You must fact check. I have never sent anything that says, Mr. Lieber, um, I really want to vote for the transgender and, and I'm only worried about him. I'm not worried about him. I just simply am not. I keep doing what I keep doing, which is public service. Now you need to repeat that question. I had to get that little hit in without using a rebuttal. <laughs> um, mainly boils down to do you believe it's time for the state income tax? Oh, yes, I got this. Yeah, no problem. The 1.8 billion, who wouldn't want us to give that money back? But the problem is we don't know if it exists. He doesn't know if it exists. The reality is we had to, in the Senate, include in the budget $5 million to do a forensic audit because we don't know if the money is actually there. And if it is there, where does it belong? It doesn't just appear out of the air. So we have to figure this out. We've had two problems, comptroller and, and the treasurer. It's ridiculous. What I think we need to do is go back and change our constitution to say that they have to have some type of accounting credentials because they do not. With respect to the gas tax, I did vote for that and I'd vote for it again. You know why? It's costing every driver. Started out at 23, might be about $26 per car. How else do you think we're gonna pay for the infrastructure? That's the only tax I've ever voted for. And that brought more money locally so that you can build sidewalks, you can do all sorts of things. I am very um, proud of my record of tax cuts. We have cut, by the way, our income tax over one, now it's, we cut it again, so it's basically almost 1%. Ever since I've been in office, which is eight years now, we have had a surplus budget. That is not okay. We need to not tax people so much. So no, we cannot give the 1.8 billion phantom money until we know that it exists. And if it does exist, we might should give it back or we maybe should shore up the pension. There are a lot of things we need to do, but we got to know that the money is there and not fake. Thank you.